Have you ever wondered how Boeing aircraft carriers are made? Welcome to an exploration into the intricate world of aviation manufacturing. We're about to delve into the process that transforms raw materials into the colossal machines that rule the skies. This is no simple feat. It's a complex dance of precision and engineering, where every single detail counts. From design to delivery, we'll uncover the steps that bring these awe-inspiring aircraft carriers to life. Prepare to embark on a fascinating journey into the world of aircraft carrier manufacturing. Before a single bolt is tightened, the process begins with an idea. A vision of a new aircraft carrier that will revolutionize the way we fly. It all begins with the design phase, where engineers and designers come together to conceptualize this vision into a tangible reality. Engineers with their vast technical knowledge and designers with their creative prowess form a symbiotic relationship. Together they brainstorm, sketch, and create blueprints for the new aircraft carrier. Every detail is carefully considered, from the overall structure down to the minutia of the interior layout. They consider the carrier's intended purpose, expected load capacity, fuel efficiency, and a myriad of other factors. But this isn't just a pen and paper exercise. The design phase heavily employs advanced software and simulations. These digital tools allow the team to create a virtual model of the aircraft carrier. They can test different design elements, simulate various scenarios, and predict potential issues before they even occur. For instance, using computer-aided design software, engineers can create 3D models of the carrier. They can then run simulations to see how the design would hold up under different weather conditions or how it might respond to various levels of stress and strain. Similarly, advanced software can help designers visualize the interior layout. They can experiment with different seating arrangements, cabin layouts, and storage spaces. They can see how passengers might move around within the carrier, ensuring that the design is not just functional, but also comfortable and user-friendly. And it doesn't stop there. The design phase is a cycle of creation, testing, refining, and retesting. With each iteration, the design becomes more refined, more efficient, more aligned with the original vision. So, the process of creating a Boeing aircraft carrier is not just about building a massive structure. It's an intricate dance of science and art, of calculations and creativity. It's about bringing a vision to life, about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And it all starts with the design. So, the first step in the journey of an aircraft carrier is its design. The choice of materials is a crucial decision in the making of an aircraft carrier. This is where ingenuity meets reality, where the dreams of designers come face to face with the laws of physics. Material selection for aircraft carriers is both a science and an art, a balance of strength, weight, and durability. It's not about using the strongest material, but the most appropriate one. The materials must be strong enough to withstand the harsh conditions of the sea and the sky, yet light enough to allow the aircraft carrier to stay afloat and move at high speeds. One of the most common materials used is steel, specifically high-strength, low-alloy steel, for the hull and other major structural components. This type of steel offers an excellent combination of strength and toughness, perfect for withstanding the punishing conditions at sea. But metal alone isn't enough. Composite materials, which are made from two or more different materials, are also crucial. They combine the best properties of each component material. For instance, Carbon fiber reinforced polymers, known for their lightweight and high strength, are used in various parts of the aircraft carrier to reduce weight without compromising strength. Then there's aluminum, a lighter alternative to steel. It's used in areas where weight savings are crucial, like the superstructure. Despite being lighter, aluminum still offers a good level of strength and resistance to corrosion, especially important in a salty sea environment. And let's not forget about the countless other materials used in the construction of an aircraft carrier, from the copper and fiber optics in the wiring, to the ceramics and plastics in the control systems, to the rubber and leather in the crew's quarters. Each material is chosen with a specific purpose in mind, contributing to the overall performance and safety of the aircraft carrier. The process of acquiring these materials is just as complex as selecting them. It involves a global supply chain, stringent quality control, and careful logistics planning to ensure that the right materials arrive at the right place at the right time. Once the right materials are chosen and acquired, the real construction can begin. And that, my friends, is where the magic truly starts. The creation of an aircraft carrier is not a singular process, but the assembly of thousands of individual parts. When it comes to crafting a marvel like a Boeing aircraft carrier, 
It's not just about bolting together large chunks of metal. Each component, no matter how small, plays a crucial role in the overall performance and safety of the aircraft. Imagine a giant jigsaw puzzle, where each piece is crafted with extraordinary precision, and there are no extra pieces. That's what component manufacturing in the aviation industry is like. Each part, be it an engine, a wing, or a tiny rivet, is manufactured separately, often in different facilities, sometimes even in different parts of the world. Take the engine, for instance. It's the heart of the aircraft, providing the thrust necessary for flight. The manufacturing process of an engine alone involves hundreds of steps, each requiring meticulous attention to detail. The blades are crafted from a single crystal structure to withstand extreme temperatures and rotational forces. Then there's the fuselage, the main body of the aircraft. It's a complex structure that houses the cockpit, passenger cabin, and cargo space. Its manufacturing involves forming and joining sections of metal, followed by rigorous inspections to ensure the integrity of the structure. Even the smallest components, such as the rivets and bolts that hold everything together, are subject to stringent quality control. These tiny parts are crafted from high-strength alloys and must meet precise specifications. It's a symphony of precision engineering, where each part is an instrument playing a critical role. And it's not just about crafting these components. It's about crafting them consistently, with the same level of precision and quality, time after time. This intricate dance of manufacturing is guided by stringent standards and protocols to ensure that every component performs exactly as it should, every single time. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of perfection. With all the components ready, it's time for the real magic to begin, the assembly. Assembling an aircraft carrier is a monumental task that requires both precision and coordination. It's an intricate ballet of manpower, machinery, and raw materials, all coming together in a symphony of creation. The journey from a collection of components to a fully-fledged aircraft carrier begins in the assembly bay. Here, the aircraft's skeleton, or keel, is laid down. This is the backbone of the aircraft, a complex lattice of steel beams that will eventually support the weight of an entire aircraft in the sky. While the keel is being laid, elsewhere in the aircraft manufacturing factory, the individual sections of the aircraft are being built. These massive blocks, some weighing as much as a small house, are constructed from steel plates and welded together into a three-dimensional. Each block is unique, designed to fit a specific part of the aircraft's structure. Once the blocks are ready, they're transported to the assembly factory. Here, they're hoisted into place by colossal gantry cranes, each capable of lifting several tons with ease. It's a sight to behold, as these massive sections, some large and weighing in tons, are maneuvered into position with pinpoint accuracy. Now comes the task of connecting these blocks. This is where human labor and automated machines work in unison. Skilled welders, armed with their torches, fuse the steel sections together, their sparks illuminating the assembly bay. Meanwhile, robotic arms guided by precision sensors install thousands of rivets, securing the blocks together. As the aircraft starts to take form, the next stage of assembly begins. This involves the installation of the aircraft's systems, everything from the propulsion and navigation systems to the plumbing and electrical networks. Again, this is a blend of human expertise and automated technology. Engineers painstakingly wire up the aircraft's control systems, while robots lay miles of piping throughout the ship. The final stage of assembly is the installation of the flight deck. This enormous, flat expanse is the heart of the aircraft carrier, the stage from which aircraft will take off and land. It's constructed in sections, each one carefully aligned and welded into place. Throughout this process, quality checks are conducted at every stage. Each weld, each rivet, and each system installation is inspected and tested, ensuring the aircraft is built to the highest standards. After weeks, sometimes months, of meticulous work, what was once a design on a screen becomes a tangible, awe-inspiring machine. A marvel of modern engineering, the aircraft carrier stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of collaboration. Before an aircraft carrier can be put into service, it must undergo rigorous testing. This is a crucial phase in the production process where absolutely nothing is left to chance. Safety is paramount, and in the aviation industry, it's something that's never compromised. So what kind of tests are we talking about? Well, let's dive in. The testing phase involves a series of comprehensive assessments that scrutinize every aspect of the carrier. These tests are designed to push the carrier to its limits, 
ensuring that it can withstand all kinds of potential scenarios and extreme conditions. One of the first tests is the structural test. Here, the carrier's structure is subjected to loads and stresses that simulate the harsh conditions of the air. This ensures that the carrier is robust enough to endure the rigors of air operations. Then comes the propulsion testing. This is where the carrier's engines and propulsion systems are put through their paces. These tests ensure that the carrier has the power and maneuverability it needs to operate effectively. Next, we have the electronic systems testing. This involves testing the carrier's navigation, communication, and defense systems. The aim here is to ensure that these systems function flawlessly, keeping the carrier and its crew safe and on course. Finally, there's the safety equipment testing. Here, safety equipment such as emergency landing and fire suppression systems are tested to ensure they are in perfect working order. After all, in an emergency, these systems could mean the difference between life and death. Throughout these tests, quality assurance teams are hard at work. Their role is to ensure that every test is conducted accurately and that any issues discovered are addressed promptly. These teams are the guardians of safety, working tirelessly to ensure every carrier is as safe and reliable as possible. The testing phase is a painstaking process, but it's a necessary one. It's the phase that gives us the confidence that when a carrier sets sail, it's ready for whatever the seas may throw at it. With successful testing, the aircraft carrier is almost ready to take to the seas. The final stage in the creation of an aircraft carrier is applying the finishing touches and preparing it for delivery. As we approach the end of this journey, let's delve into the intricate details that truly bring a Boeing aircraft carrier to life. After all the rigorous stages of design, material acquisition, manufacturing, assembly, and testing, we finally reach the stage where we give the aircraft carrier its unique identity and character. Imagine a blank canvas ready to be transformed into a masterpiece. The aircraft carrier at this stage is much like that canvas. The first brushstroke on this canvas is the exterior painting. This isn't just for aesthetics, but a crucial aspect of the aircraft carrier's identity. This paint job, often reflective of the airline's branding, is meticulously applied by skilled painters, ensuring the color, the logo, and the registration number are perfectly displayed. Next, we move to the interior fitting. This is where the aircraft carrier starts feeling like the familiar environment we recognize when we step inside an airplane. Seats are installed, overhead bins are fitted, and the galley and lavatories are put into place. Each of these elements is carefully selected and arranged to provide maximum comfort and efficiency for the passengers and crew. Once the aircraft carrier has been fully furnished and adorned, it's time for the delivery process. This process involves a final round of inspection and testing to make sure everything is in its place and functioning as it should. The aircraft is then fueled and prepared for its maiden flight, often referred to as the delivery flight. This is the aircraft's first journey from the Boeing factory to its new home with the airline. The delivery of an aircraft carrier is a moment of pride and joy, not just for the airline that receives it, but also for the countless individuals who have poured their sweat and talent into its creation. And there you have it, the journey of an aircraft carrier, from a mere concept to a colossal marvel of engineering. So that's how a Boeing aircraft carrier comes to life. It's a journey that starts with a spark of creativity in the design phase, where engineers put their minds to work, crafting blueprints that balance aesthetics, functionality, and safety. Then we move on to material selection and acquisition, a meticulous process that ensures only the highest quality materials are used. Everything from high-grade steel for the hull to state-of-the-art electronics for the control systems is carefully chosen. Next is the component manufacturing stage, where precision and patience come into play. Each part, no matter how small, is crafted with the utmost care and attention to detail. This process is the backbone of the entire operation, ensuring the aircraft carrier's resilience and longevity. Following this, we have the assembly of the aircraft carrier. It's like solving a giant intricate puzzle where every piece has to perfectly fit together. It's a testament to the skill and dedication of the assembly team. Then comes testing and quality assurance, ensuring that the finished product is up to the high standards set by Boeing and the aviation industry. It's a rigorous, exhaustive procedure that leaves no stone unturned. Finally, we apply the finishing touches and prepare for delivery, a moment of great pride for everyone involved in the process. Next time you see an aircraft carrier, remember the journey it has taken to get there. Thank you for watching.